We arrived in Amsterdam center and this looks as usual very nice because of the Christmas. So this is my friend Barun, you might have seen him in previous weeks. Check my other week videos. And now probably we are going to take the ferry for the sushi festival to go to the... So you can see people are taking also the bikes and motorbikes inside the ferry. It's a big ferry here. And there, right? people who joined there and uh, some were interested in the poster I, I built some contacts and I found one interesting uh, thing that uh, I found one person who was also a TU Delft alumni like me in computer science and he currently works in Shell so he tried to talk more about what is my research there is some light snow happening I'm going back to my friend's home in Delft. You can see the white particles. It is very light. It's not heavy, but good to see the snow. Actually, it's not good. Week 17. Uh, next week, I'll be going on vacation, probably on two weeks week 18 and week 19 I think I'll be on vacation so most of the videos will be from my vacation that's a surprise this week uh, we went for the sushi festival in Amsterdam this was my second sushi festival you might have seen in my I can leave the link in the top right corner so I could not shoot but I had like in week 4 I went to one of the first sushi festival in Maastricht uh, I posted some of the pictures, although I could not shoot, it was outside. But here I could shoot something and we tried to make some food reviews, which was really... It's the beginning of week 17, on my way to the bus stop, as this is the weekend. So, I'm traveling to... Amsterdam. We have a sushi festival, some of my friends are joining me in the sushi festival to Amsterdam and we'll enjoy. So see you in the train maybe or maybe in Amsterdam. And this is a very famous Dutch Christmas snack called olive oil and it's like fried bread dough. Which is like the way you make bread it has like eggs flour yeast which are the main ingredients and they fry it and then eat it with powdered sugar generally it also has a raisin so as you can see in the picture so this is very famous during the months of november and december when the winter comes and the christmas is there it's a very famous This one is the plain one without raisins and with powdered sugar. So just now we arrived in Amsterdam center and this looks as usual very nice because of the Christmas. So this is my friend Barun, you might have seen him in previous weeks. Check my other week videos. And now probably we are going to take the ferry for the sushi festival to go to the center of Amsterdam or? No, basically to the other side. Other the side, okay. You can have... funny. I'm So 
there is no ticket system you just go in at every no, but, 15 minutes or? but but there are multiple ones you have to oh see. you can able to see the destination or yeah it said oh here you can ticket. see the three minutes in point like the time bikes and motor bikes inside the ferry it's a big ferry here yeah. see much crowd but it's very difficult to find a place where you can see crowd so i saw some ginger and this is the normal so he's frying the authentic indian way <laughs> i i think i will also do that because we are standing and standing and using chopsticks that is a new i mean difficult i'll try the next one the oh, face face now or no the next no i'm just now i'm tasting it oh, for okay, myself then. so now it's the taste time so crunchy like i can taste the seaweed it smells the sea <laughs> interesting to review the food although we are not food blogger or food experts and we also try to mimic some features of uh, some way of speaking of mark weens because i follow him a lot and i like his food blogs for rest of the week i mentioned last week that i was preparing the poster for a festival for a annual general meeting in leiden where uh, one of the professor whom under whom i work he is uh, joining as a director of the cel center of education and learning check my last week's video to know more about it so there i am i went this week to present my poster to in front of like roughly there are like uh, 80 to 100 people who joined there and uh, some were interested in the poster i i built some contacts and i found one interesting uh, thing that uh, i found one uh, person who was also a tu delft alumni like me in computer science and he currently works in shell so he tried to talk more about what is my research because he, they have some investments in shell in virtual 
and e-learning which I didn't know of because I didn't know the shell has also some educational part to it but that's how you get to know about all these unexpected things when you join these kind of events and try to meet with people and build your network so also one I was very happy personally because I could meet my former thesis supervisor master thesis supervisor from TU Delft she also came there and as I have mentioned in my previous week's video I think it was week 8 or 9 I'll leave in the information card in the top right corner uh, in future we are going to plan some collaborative experiments with TU Delft where we will take the help of the bachelor classrooms in TU Delft to do some experiments and get some data for my research so that's in that sense I we had some discussions before but I didn't have any face-to-face -face discussion with my thesis supervisor because she's also going to play a role in facilitating the centers or the classrooms and also the labs where we can perform the experiments and she's also going to contribute something so we had some face-to-face -face discussions and she was also interested in what I'm doing now and where am I living because this Vulcan work uh, last week you might have seen the Valkenberg Cave Christmas Market, it is very famous, so she was interested to visit it. And apart from that, uh, we discussed about uh, how we are going to do the experiments, what will be the setting, what will be the group size and rest of the stuff. So I was very happy because I could meet her after a long time and uh, we could uh, talk a lot because she is, I, I always uh, try to, I mean, I always I'm indebted, I'm in debt to her contribution because of which I am here because she built, uh, helped me in building my foundation in writing a thesis, a scientific report and how to do proper research, frame your research question, these are all the things like everything I have now learned about scientific writing is from her. So it was really i mean i was personally very happy see you everyone next week till then peace this is how i cut my hair by using a trimmer i'm not going to explain the process but 